Hi there. Is your organization filled with PDFs, documents, and slides? Wouldn't it be better to have that important knowledge in a digital environment where it's more accessible, easier to control and manage, and much easier to track? It may seem like a lot of effort to convert all of this existing material into a better format, but I'm here to show you it's not. Using the Tribal Habits platform, I'm going to show you how easy it is to take a written document, policy or process and convert it into interactive online training, fully branded in the cloud, in just a few minutes. I'll be using this written code of conduct from a company called OneTree. Let's begin. So if we look at the document, we can see that like many documents or slides or processes, it has some existing formatting that we can use. The key thing here is the way it's laid out the content. So we have these headings, dress code and then cybersecurity, which has several subcomponents to it, and then social media with several subcomponents, workplace visitors, employee relationships, and so on. And the great thing is if you have existing content that already has this sort of breakup in slides or headings, then you're a long way to getting what you need for online training. So switching into OneTree's Tribal Habits portal, we're going to create a new topic, and we're going to call this particular topic the OneTree Code of Conduct. To complete a topic overview, I just need to add a little bit of information about what the training is about, why it's important, and who it's for. And with that done, I have a quick overview about this topic and we're ready to start creating it. Now the creation process in Tribal Habits works with our AI Sage, who's winking at us at the moment, and it can go through two stages. Stage one is where you map out your topic and organize it into its sections. And stage two is where then you build the content around that initial structure that you developed. I'm gonna go straight to stage two in this demo, mainly because I've already got the structure laid out in that Word document. So let's go straight to stage two and straight into editing the first part and we can go from there. Now, if we return to our code of conduct document, we can see largely the sections are ready to go. It's dress code, cybersecurity, and so on. So the first thing I might do is just map out those sections over two parts. So I'm gonna start by adding a section and the first section is going to be called dress code. I'm gonna leave everything else blank for the moment and just add in my various sections. And a quick flash forward in time and that's done. I've created two parts for this topic, acceptable behaviors and part two is acceptable activities. And I've just put in the section headings which cover the same sections as in the document. Returning to part one and looking to dress code, it's now time to copy content across. And this is largely a copy and paste exercise using the template building blocks in Tribal Habits. I'm gonna start with some simple text. Let's return to the document. I'll select all of the text in dress code and copy it. And then back at the topic, I'm simply going to paste that in as clean text. Then all I really need to do is format it up and we're done with this section. Let's move on to the next section, which is about cybersecurity and digital devices. Returning to our Word document, we can see that this section is broken into subsections on internet usage, cell phone, and corporate email. So I think what we can do here is take these three blocks of information and turn them into something a little interactive. So let's go back to the topic, into the cybersecurity and digital devices area, and we're going to use our interact element. Flashing forward again, and I've just copied and pasted that content into the interact element. The interact element allows me to have various items and each item has a title and some text which is all formatted up and I then choose the interactional layout that I'm looking for and in this case I've chosen accordion. Let's have a look at how that now plays out for the learners. So we'll hit the preview button, we can see our original dress code area, we're now into the section on cybersecurity, and we now have a lovely accordion which just presents the information in much smaller bite size issues. Let's return back to editor mode and I'll just finish this section up by grabbing an image and cropping it from our image library and a bit of introductory text. A quick flash forward and I've just grabbed an image from our image library having searched for social media, added in some introductory text and then I took the remaining part of that section in the Word document and just popped out two key pieces of information and insights. Returning to our Word document, we're already through the first two pages, we're now up to social media and I can see social media is broken down into personal social media and then company social media. Whenever I see these two sections like this, I think tabs is a great layout to flick between the two. And so we can just copy and paste this information back into Tribal Habits as a tab layout. And another little flash forward and we've done that. I've pasted in this piece of text here. And once again, I've used our interact element to give us a tab layout where the learner can flip between the two tabs. Back to our Word document, and we're just down to workplace visitors to finish off this particular section. So I can grab all of this text and copy it, return back to the platform, insert a new text element, and paste in that text. And already I've got something good to work with, but again, I think we can just spruce this up with some nice formatting and perhaps another image. This time, let's look at our image library in action. 
So I'll start by adding in a new image. Let's click on it, which allows us to either upload an image from our own media collection or to select a stock photo. In this case, I'll use a stock photo. And as this section is about workplace visitors, let's see if I can find anything under the word reception. There's a perfect image here which we can use, so let's import that. And we instantly have that image. Now it's a little large, so I want to crop it down to size. So let's use the built-in image editor to do that by choosing crop and choosing the aspect ratio of header, dragging the image to where we want it and hitting save. Excellent, we'll save that image. And now we have a nice image. All we need is a quick bit of formatting here. And that section is now complete. If we continue looking at how it looks for a learner, we have our dress code section and we have cybersecurity with its uh, accordion. We have the new social media area with its tabs to click between the different information. And then finally, we have our workplace visitors with the image and text that we just created. So let's go back now and edit part two. Returning to our Word document, and we see this begins with a section on conflict of interest. Now that's quite a lot of text to have a read through, but I can change this text into a video using Tribal Habits' particular narration element. So let's do that now. And I'm going to do that by copying each paragraph of text one by one into our narration element. The narration element will create a narrated slideshow that reads out this text in a video style environment. And with a little flash forward, I've done that. Here's our narrated slideshow. If I click on it, I can see there's four slides. And those slides just cover the text that was in the Word document. It's been copied and pasted across. We've then created a slide which summarizes key information. And at the moment, we're using our character Olivia. She's one of five built-in AI characters that we have. When I save this particular narration and preview it, we can see it presents as a video. It has your logo on it and all of your colors with a play bar and built-in closed captions as well. And when it plays, we'll hear the AI voice read out the slides as it moves through just like a video. When you are experiencing a conflict of interest, your personal goals are no longer aligned with your responsibilities towards us. And like a video, I can fast forward, pause, rewind, do whatever I like, but it took that simple text and turned it into interactive multimedia in just a few moments. Let's continue editing. On to employee relationships. Returning to our Word document, I can see employee relationships has a whole lot of little subheadings here. They're all quite small. So I'm thinking that several of them, perhaps the first four, would work great as flip cards. And a quick flash forward, and here it is. And as now we can see, we have flip cards. And so let's preview how this is looking for learners. So we have our conflict of interest section with the narration that we created, and the new employee relations section now with flip cards, which we can click on to interact with that information. And this was all created just using a simple template and a series of copy and paste commands. Let's finish this off. We've really just got the solicitation and distribution section to go. And with the magic of fast forward, it's done. We've used our quote element to pop out what solicitation and distribution means, another image, and then copied and pasted in the last of the text. Let's now add a few finishing touches. So at the end of each section, we've added in some review activities. These are simple quizzes that can be added in using our quiz element. And they give people a chance to engage with the content and make sure they're understanding it. We dropped in a few quizzes at the end of part two and also at the end of part one. In addition, at the start of part one, we decided to add in a video from the CEO. So we put in a new section called welcome and using our video element, dropped in a video. Let's see how the whole thing came together. And so here we have our completed topic. We've ended up by going from a six page Word document into a fully interactive, trackable online learning module in under 30 minutes. We have two parts about acceptable behaviors and acceptable activities, and they use a wide variety of elements uh, from videos of our CEO, through to interactive text that we can click on, to accordions, flip cards, layouts, narrations, quizzes, and more. And so there you have it. With very little effort, I've transformed this code of conduct document into interactive online training, fully branded, that's engaging to my staff, and they can complete it in any location and at any time. And as I add more content into my Tribal Habits platform, I'm creating a single source of truth about organizational knowledge and how it's being shared. So whether it's accelerating induction or automating compliance policies, or simply capturing valuable knowledge from your expert staff before they leave your organization, it's all possible with Tribal Habits. If you'd like to learn more, come visit us at tribalhabits.com. I'll see you there.